So, you suck at parrying. No worries. This video is here to help you out. This is Astro Nerd Games coming to you with how to parry. In the beginning of the game, you're going to come across an array of creatures. And all of these creatures have a very specific attack pattern. The trick is to watch these attack patterns. And I'm going to go ahead and show you these attack patterns and how you can defend yourself by parrying. So let's start off with the basics. Now this video is aimed mostly towards the beginning of the game. So don't get overzealous and go into the upper yard and take on like a roly poly like I did. Otherwise you'll end up like this. Let's start off with worker ants. All ants have the same attack pattern, so I'm only going to focus on the red worker ants. They have three attack patterns. The first one being where they lift up their legs high above and then shoot out at you. Now this one is easier to be able to parry because it's a dead giveaway. The trick is you want to be able to wait right at the end of the moment now they'll make this noise right at the end when they're about to leap at you that's when you parry now the second attack pattern is very quick and even i will admit i have a hard time parrying because of the fact that it's so quick but it is possible to parry now i don't often parry these attacks mostly because well in the heat of battle you can get pretty overwhelmed, especially when you're surrounded by a bunch of them. Also, the fact that they don't actually deal a whole lot of damage, but these are really good tips for when you start making your way throughout the game, especially when you're facing off against black ants and then fire ants. They will deal a little bit more damage, so it's good to start practicing with the red ants to begin with. Soldier ants. Now these ants basically have only two attack patterns, which makes it easier. And this also applies to black ants and fire soldier ants. So the first attack pattern is the easiest one to be able to parry from. So they'll basically lunge back, pause, and then they'll lunge forward. They'll make this noise, and this will be able to tell you what kind of attack it's going to be. Now, if it's shorter, it's going to be a three hit combo. But don't worry, as long as you parry the first hit, you'll be perfectly fine, as it will interrupt the combo itself. Ladybugs. Now, ladybugs are a beast. They will bulldoze right over you if you're not careful, especially at the beginning of the game. Now, there are also ladybirds, which look like ladybugs, but they're black instead of red. They have similar attack patterns, except for the fact that ladybirds have an extra attack pattern that can pack a punch. But let's focus on the regular ladybugs. Now, there are three different attack patterns from the ladybugs. The first one, which is the most common, is where they'll lunge at you and basically headbutt you. Just watch the behavior of the ladybug and you'll be perfectly fine. The second attack is when they're charging right at you. Now this one is a lot easier to be able to pick out because of the fact that it has to charge at you. Just keep your distance away from the ladybug, otherwise this attack will make it harder for you to parry. And the third attack pattern. This attack is basically where it's going to move to the side and then body check you. And this is going to be the hit that hurts the most. Now usually, if you're watching, you can always hit the block button in order to keep yourself on your toes. There is a small pause in between, so always just make sure to be patient, otherwise you won't get that parry. But it's better off that you actually just hit block in general, that way you don't take the full brunt of the actual hit. Or weavers. Now we're gonna get into the spiders, because you'll come across them a lot more often throughout the yard. Now, Orb Weavers and Orb Weaver Juniors have the exact same attack patterns. 
So this will apply to both of them. So one, there is a charge attack. It basically is where it's gonna sit up and do its little pose and then it's going to lunge backwards then lunge forward to attack you. Now this is the easiest way to parry and it just takes a little bit of practice. The other attack pattern is basically where it, so it'll lean to the side and then it'll attack you. This is a three hit combo that cannot be interrupted, unfortunately. So make sure that you actually hit that combo every single time. And it's actually not as bad as it really seems. So as long as you actually hit that combo, just be quick with it and watch its movements. Woo! Wolf spiders! Now this one's the most fun, especially at the beginning of the game, because you will have to defeat these creatures. Now the wolf spiders have three attack patterns. Or you could say four. I'm going to say three just because two of them are very similar if I say four. So let's get into it. Now the first attack pattern I'm going to cover is the one that's similar to the Ore Weavers. It will basically lean back, make a noise, and then it'll lunge forward to attack you. Now again, this is going to be the easiest attack that you're going to be able to parry. Be patient, wait for that pause, and then block. You should be able to hit this parry perfectly, no problem whatsoever, as long as you practice and watch its movement. The second attack pattern is going to be one that, so it's also going to be similar to the Orb Weavers, except it's going to be a four attack combo. It'll hit you three times in a row, and then stop to pause, and then lunge at you for the fourth hit. So again, just be patient and hit that parry. And the third attack pattern. Now this attack pattern is going to feel a little bit overwhelming, but this is where it jumps at you. The reason why this may be harder for you to parry is the fact that when it jumps up, it escapes your view. It will jump up and kind of disappear until it comes back down at you. This one takes a little bit more practice, but I promise you, it's not that bad as long as you practice. And I'm going to keep saying this because parrying requires a lot of practice, which is why I recommend that you practice in custom mode and turn on god mode. Now, bombardiers. Bombardiers are interesting. Now, they're super easy because they only have one close range attack pattern. It's basically the same thing. They'll lean back, they'll charge, and then they'll shoot at you. This is the only one you really have to worry about if you're close combat. However, bombardiers are a range attack creature, meaning they'll spit at you with their acid goop, making it harder for you to approach them. They have three different range attacks. Now these, of course, you can't parry, but you can move out of the way and dodge them. Larva. Now, the larvae aren't really that menacing alone. However, they can become quite a threat if they attack you in numbers. Their movements are quick and swift. They have three different attack patterns, and they're all super easy to be able to watch for. Now the first attack pattern I'll go over is when they straighten their body, they lean back, and then this is when they jump at you. This is going to be easy for you to watch for, as there is a pause before they lunge and attack you. Now you'll always know they're about to attack you in the second and third hit combo because of the fact that they'll lean to the side. One of the attack patterns is when they try to hit you at least three times. However, if you're able to parry them, it will interrupt their attack combo. Stink Bugs. Now Stink Bugs only have two attack patterns. These are pretty easy. Now the first one that will hurt the most if you don't block correctly is the one that will lunge at you and basically body slam you. It's pretty explosive. Now of course you want to be able to face these creatures with a gas mask. But the reason why I'm covering stink bugs is the fact that either you're going to take a range attack to them and attack them with a bow or you're gonna be like me where you just say 
block it and haul ass into battle. Now the second attack pattern is going to be one where they will lean to the side, pause, and then attack you. They will make a specific noise that will indicate when they're about to attack you. So this is when you have to be patient as well in order for you to get that parry. I will admit, this was a little difficult for me as I don't often face stink bugs unless it's in the beginning of the game. So this attack pattern was a little bit difficult for me to figure out how to perfectly block them. Let's get on to the bees. Now the bees have three attack patterns. And each of them are a little bit different from the one compared to the other. Now the first one I'm going to cover is going to be the easiest one to parry from. They basically will charge at you with their stinger out in front. The reason why this is easy is because of the fact that they will basically take their sweet time and the attack is easier to identify. So they'll most likely attack you in this way if you're a good distance. The second attack pattern is where they're just going to go straight for the hit. It's a very quick hit, but this is going to be one of those where you're going to have to watch their movement very specifically, otherwise you're going to miss it. Now they don't really hurt that much, so if you miss it, that's no problem, but I do recommend just watching them and listening in order to be able to perfect block them. The third attack pattern is going to be the hardest to be able to figure out because of the fact that it hits you three times and quickly. To me, flyers are the worst to be able to parry from. However, it just takes practice. Now the last one I'm going to talk about are the mosquitoes. It was weird, I couldn't really find the mosquitoes like the regular ones. I'm not too sure what happened after the update, but I just couldn't find the basic mosquitoes. Anyways, in this video you're going to see me go against tiger mosquitoes. However, they have the same attack patterns as the regular mosquitoes. They have three attack patterns. The first one I'm going to talk about is the easiest one. It's basically where it winds itself up, does a little loop-de-loop, -loop, and then attack you straight forward. The second attack pattern is hard because it's quick. However, just watch its movements and listen. Sometimes turning down the music and the sound effects can actually help. If you turn off the music, it'll be easier for you to actually listen out for the buzzing. It will make a specific buzz before it swiftly attacks you. And the third attack pattern. Now this one is going to be a three hit combo, but it's one of those attack patterns that you can interrupt the combo. So again, just go ahead and watch and listen. And that's pretty much all that I have to cover for the beginning of the game, guys. It was a lot of fun making this video. If you enjoyed it and you found this helpful, go ahead and give it a like. I would highly appreciate it. If you like videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe because I will be coming out with more of these videos in the near future. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!